Well, hello there, everyone. I'm Esther Barkew. Today, I would like to address the topics of self-confidence and self-esteem with you. We're going to talk about what is self-confidence, what is self-esteem, what influences your self-confidence and self-esteem, how does self-confidence and self-esteem play into manifesting your wishes, your dreams, your desires, and then how to build and boost self-confidence, self-esteem if you feel you're wobbling or in need in some area of your life, all right? So what is self-confidence? This is my current definition of self-confidence. It is a trust in self, okay? So it's strong, it's clear-headed, it's, it's an assuredness of a trust in self. I can. I am able, I am capable. Even if this doesn't turn out the way I want it to turn, I can turn things around. I can deal with what happens, all right? There's a real strength, a belief in self, a trust in self, an assuredness. Now, self-esteem is more that overall feeling state, how you feel of, about yourself overall. This is my personal definition, okay? I am worthy. I am deserving. I am lovable. I am kind, okay? And while self-confidence and self-esteem, I always see them as two very separate um, areas, each deserving of their own time and attention of your inner work on your personal growth journey. Of course, they do come together. They intertwine under that overall umbrella of self. They work together to create that, the stronger self, the self power, the lighting up to who you truly be of true self. All right. So what influences your self-confidence? And self-esteem, well, it's your beliefs, of course, okay? What you believe about yourself, even what you believe about the world, and what you believe about other people also influences what you believe about yourself. So it's, it's beliefs. Mm -hmm. Now, maybe some of those beliefs you inherited from other people, and some of those beliefs you created on your own, determined on your own based on experiences that you had, life situations, all right? So it's all about the beliefs. Now, how does self-confidence and self-esteem then fit into manifesting? If you are watching this video, likely you are uh, very eager, very interested in being a conscious and deliberate manifester, creating your reality, right? And so your self-confidence and your self-esteem are part of the manifesting process, okay? So everything is based on energy and vibration. You manifest, you attract to yourself based on your vibration, based on your frequencies, based on your energy. And how you feel about yourself in the areas of self-confidence and self-esteem will determine your vibration, your energy, what you are attracting towards you. So if you are wanting to manifest that dream love of your life, partnership, friendship, romantic, relationship, business relationship, but you feel that you are unworthy and undeserving and you're not capable because it's never worked out in the past or you've only had bad experiences in your past, you're putting something out there, but then you're pushing against it with your vibration based on your beliefs, right? So your vibration is created by your thoughts, your feelings, your emotions, your actions, your concepts of reality. It's one big package Self-esteem, self-confidence uh, is part of that because when you have strong self-esteem and strong self-confidence, it's a high vibration. And when you have low self-confidence and low self-esteem, it is that vibration that you know either pushes away what you want or 
You might be strong enough to attract that which you desire, but it's not going to be long lasting because that belief of, well, I'm not really worthy or deserving of this comes in or I'm not capable of maintaining this comes in. And as soon as you get it, it begins to slide away, right? So how then do you build self-confidence and boost self-confidence and self-esteem in order to empower yourself, in order to shine your light, the light that you are as true self, as that light being inside of you, to be a conscious and deliberate manifester, create the world, the reality that you want to live and experience in? Well, there's really two ways. Do your inner work. Turn within. Connect with that part of you, that subconscious part of you that feels unlovable, that feels unworthy, that feels not deserving, that feels like a victim, okay? That feels, I can't, I'm not capable, I'm not able, I'm not smart enough, I'm not pretty enough, I'm not strong enough, whatever it might be for you. And connect with that part of you and address it, okay? That part is holding beliefs and maybe memories from the past and influences from other people that are creating this energetic influence with inside of you. All right. That's the work that I do in private sessions with people. Okay. That's my expertise, helping you to work on the conscious and subconscious level to really root out those limiting beliefs and perceptions that you are holding within that are stopping you from having that self-confidence, that self-esteem, uh, creating the life that you want and, and desire. The second piece to this is then taking action, proving to yourself that you can. Okay. A lot of people do really great inner work, but then they just leave it at that and they never take steps to fortify what they're doing on the inside. That's like reading a book about how to bake a cake, but you never actually go and try to bake a cake. So you have the head knowledge of it, but you've never put it into practice, right? So taking the action, doing action steps. And sometimes when you're thinking, I've been doing the inner work and doing in the inner work, and I've had a little bit of movement, but not enough movement, then I would say then, then start taking the action. Start doing activities to prove to yourself that you can. And as you're doing these activities, you know, you're not going to be perfect at it the first time. You may even fail the first time. And if that failure brings up all kinds of energies of I'm a failure, then that's good news. Then it's pointing you that this is a block that is standing in your way. Let's address this while we're continuing to do activities. All right. And then, you know, it's so interesting. When, <laughs> when does doing something or trying something have to be about being perfect? Like when did perfection become the standard of doing something, right? How about just doing something, participating in something because you enjoy it, just because you enjoy it. You don't have to be the best. You don't have to be, you know, gold, silver, bronze. You don't have to be better than everybody else in your family. You just do it because you enjoy it you enjoy it. You know, there's, I'm, I'm not a, a, a good cook. I'm not a good cook. I'm a, a better baker. I'm not the best baker. I'm not going to win the great British bake off. If I joined in, am I capable? Yes. If I put my mind to it, I am capable. But when I do bake right now, I do it because I enjoy it. I enjoy it. And sometimes I have really good uh, experiences and what comes out of the oven is like, wow, Ooh, I did that. <laughs> and sometimes it's like, mm, not so it tastes good. Doesn't look good. Looks good. Doesn't taste good. What adjustments can I make? And so one of the areas as we're doing the upcoming 30 day event starts November 1st, build and boost your self-confidence and self-esteem. We're going to look at that piece of removing that standard of I have to be perfect 
at everything that I do. Just doing things because you love it. And can you imagine if you just started doing things because you loved it, whatever it might be in your life, what a load that takes off of you, what a burden that takes off of you, and then you start having fun and you enjoy, enjoy it and you're not measuring up to any measuring stick that's out there, and that will boost your self-confidence and self-esteem, which then raises your vibration, okay? So yes, coming up November 1st, I am going to be hosting another 30 day event to build and boost your self-confidence and self-esteem. We're going to use a mixture of teachings and psychology and core belief and spiritual mentoring and law of attraction and energy healing with activities that are designed to help you to put into play, put into practice that which you're learning, that which you're changing inside to really, again, build from a solid foundation, greater self-confidence, greater self-esteem, and then really boost you, boost you in those 30 days to the next level as you are following through with all of the teachings and assignments. You are going to get emails with uh, information and the assignments on it. I'm going to do videos, which will be on a private YouTube link that will be complimentary to the instructions coming through. Um, every three to five days, I'm gonna send you one of these emails. You'll have time to read it, to meditate on it, to actually do the action steps. We're gonna have a group sharing board on WhatsApp where I want you to post your home assignment, your experiences, what you've noticed, make comments, um, root, your, your fellow uh, classmates on when they're achieving something new. And of course, I'll be there to answer any questions that you have. And then if you want to add on to the program, a personal session with me, I have made that session available at a, a very special price. Um, it is an add on price to the program and you can, you can add that on. And then you and I can work one on one you can choose that limiting belief or whatever it is that you know is holding you back. And uh, we can do a deep dive within and, and do some re-engineering re for you. All right. So it all starts November 1st. That's just almost really days away, less than two weeks. I'm going to put a link below so you can find out more details. You can sign up now, get yourself all set up on the platforms, ready to go. And we're going to do a self-confidence, self-esteem boost, which is going to also raise your vibration. All right, everybody, ciao for now. Just a weather update. <laughs> I am still here in Budva. I'm going to have to leave soon um, because my 90 days tourist allowance is, oh, is coming to an end. Oh my God, I would really like to stay here right through the winter. But um, it looks like it's a beautiful day outside. We're hitting about 20 Celsius still during the day, which I love. It is, uh, sun is shining. We did have rain overnight. Uh, but I think the sun is going to be shining for the rest of the day. So I'm going to go out for a walk, get some vitamin D. I'm going to walk by the sea. So I'm going to get some vitamin C and do something that I love. All right, everybody. Ciao for now.